This is his PET scan, and you can see the... Dr. David Laidley shows Linda Amaral what's happening with her husband's cancer. Liver lesions here to here. Gilbert Amaral has had neuroendocrine cancer since 2011. It affects cells that regulate hormone production throughout the body. Lymph node here. Mm -hmm. At this hospital in London, Ontario, Amaral has become one of the first people in Canada to be treated with the radioactive isotope actinium-225. It's part of a worldwide clinical trial testing the newest frontier in cancer treatment, targeted alpha therapy. We have a high expectation that like the trial will be successful. Unlike traditional radiation, with beams of energy shot from outside the body, targeted alpha therapy is delivered by an injection. Molecules specially designed to bond only to cancer cells carry radioactive isotopes through the body in search of their targets. Once a molecule latches onto a cell, the isotope shoots an alpha particle inside, literally shredding its DNA without damaging cells that are healthy. This is another line of treatment that has uh, more hope for cancer patients. This scientist says, compared with alpha therapy, existing radiation treatments are like throwing golf balls in a glass shot. This is like throwing a bowling ball, so it will cause a lot more da damage, but in a much more limited area. And because of that, Alpha therapy doesn't require a bunker to contain its radiation. If we can treat people without having to bring them to the hospital, this represents a very big change for our healthcare system. So I'm very excited about it. No targeted alpha therapy has been approved for use outside clinical trials, but several are in the final stages of testing and could be ready for approvals within the next few years. Researchers see its potential in treating pancreatic, prostate and breast cancer. I think that this is the next kind of emerging therapy. Pretty good. Linda Amaral's so hopes for her husband in this clinical trial? Maintaining where he is now and hopefully um, even getting better. Mike Crawley, CBC News, London, Ontario.